All right, this is a product review of what is called an Insta heater. It's basically a portable little space heater with approximately a thousand watts of power. Uh, it heats your room up instantly. It's considered the most compact and powerful ceramic heating element uh, currently on the market. Simply plug it in directly to any outlet, turn it on, and warm up your room instantly. Adjustable thermostat and two-speed fan is also an option to keep you warm and cozy. And since it is getting cold here in the south, uh, fall has finally arrived and winter is not too far away. I uh, figured we'd uh, do a review of, of this little space heater. That's basically what it is, but it's, you know, for, you can just plug it into any, any wall outlet. Um, take a look at it here. I'll just go ahead and open up the box and uh, show you what it comes with. It comes with your instruction manual and uh, of course a warning do not cover your heating uh, your heater. Uh, of course the instruction manual the it basically just plugs into the wall the menu uh, two fan speeds you know, your power switch basically uh, screen display which I'll show you and uh, you know, the caution of what not to do and stuff like that, care and maintenance so it lasts longer and all that. So, yep, yeah, this is called the Wonder Heater, a little miniature wall heater uh, for, again, for your space. I think this would be perfect for like a bathroom and uh, you know, even my front office that I'm in which really doesn't have much in the way of heat. Um, but yeah, basically, you can keep your place warm and cozy, stay warm and comfortable wherever you relax, in the living room, bedroom, office, or even to warm up your bathroom before a shower. Uh, it's powerful, compact, and programmable. Um, don't worry about your energy consumption never again. This Insta Heater, it basically uses about uh, approximately 600 watts of power and gives off around 1,000 watts of, of equivalent heat. Um, so, you know, basically 1,000 watts to comparable heaters. Um, it's programmable for up to 12 hours. Again, it's got two fan speeds. And it's convenient, efficient, and it's easy to use. So this is what it looks like right out of the box. You can see the little uh, ceramic heater behind the vent. Here's your 110 American style outlet plug. You can see the fan on the back side. I think you can at least. But uh, yeah, this thing is pretty nice. And another neat thing, the plug will swivel. So that makes it convenient to, you can put it on its side, plug it in that way, or on an angle. Yeah, it's not quite uh, 180 degrees. It's probably more like about 110, approximately. Yep. So. Put it on a slight angle or on its side, so and it locks in place once you depress the button on the back, like that. So and here's the menu, power button, and the positive and minus, and uh, again yeah, there's a power button here on the side, on and off switch. So yeah, I'll plug this thing in and uh, we'll test it out. Okay, so I got it plugged in. I was just looking at the remote. This is the remote here that comes with the unit. Uh, it does not come with a battery. It, comes, it takes a CR2032 battery, which I just so happen to have on hand. So I'll go ahead and take this battery out and put it in and we'll test the remote. Okay, so basically it just goes in a little something like that. And then just put the lid on back on top of it like this and test it out. Turn the power on, of course. Okay. So that's the temperature, I believe, in Celsius or centigrade. And yeah, this thing's putting out some heat. I can feel it already. Put it back down to 20. Fan speed. It's on low. That's high. 
So basically you push the speed button twice. Yeah, man, this thing's actually putting out some serious heat. Wow. Timer setting. You can go one minute, two minutes. Probably, I guess, up to, you know, actually, that's, I think, hours. Yeah, one. So it should be up to 12 hours. Yep. So zero is basically no timer. One hour, two hours, three hours, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, yeah. Man, this thing is hot. I mean, I'm holding this thing. Um, and, uh, <laughs> you know, of course, got it with an extension cord for, you know, video purposes. But, yeah, you plug this thing into a, into a wall outlet. Yeah, you've got plenty of heat coming out with this little, with this little heater. Definitely. So, but yeah, this is pretty much the, the setup. Now, there are two options for this. I'll turn this on low. There we go. Um, the option that I got here is basically what's in the box, the heater itself, coming with the 110 outlet, and the remote. So that's what is included in the uh, in the first package, which runs around 32.99 euros, which equates to about 37 dollars and 88 cents in U.S. dollars. Now they also offer a full bundle, which includes a one meter style European extension cord and also a mounting bracket. So I'll show you that. Here's the extension cord. Apparently they don't make uh, an extension cord in the American style, the American Canadian. Um, basically North American style plug. So, yeah, so this is the European style extension cord for their for their wall outlet. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, they did send me the American style because normally I guess these come with a European style. But, uh, yeah, I guess they don't come with an American style extension cord, at least as of yet. But I've got my own extension cord, so really it's not needed. But also, if you get the full package, it comes with a mounting bracket. Now, this is pretty nice. You can just set the unit right there on your desk. And, yeah, keep yourself warm while you're working on documents or on the computer or even on the phone. Because it's real quiet, as you can probably hear or not hear. That's on a low setting. Again, 20 degrees Celsius. Um, if I remember in my equations or my, my conversions, that's probably around the low 70 degree Fahrenheit range. Um, you know, when you get up to 30 degrees, then that's pushing uh, the low, I think, uh, mid 80s, I think, yeah, to near 90. And then, of course, when you get up to 40 degrees, you're pushing 100 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. So, um, yeah, I mean, this thing is really, I'm impressed. I'm really impressed with this little heater just standing here, and I'm getting, you know, I'm, I'm definitely feeling the heat. I mean, even behind the camera, I'm kind of worried about my camera getting a little warm while I'm making this video. But, uh, yeah, um, only thing, you know, again, if I had to, you know, uh, request something from the uh, supplier, I mean, that's good having a... Uh, Ameri you know, European style plug, but doesn't really do a lot of good in the United States. So, but uh, I mean, you know, if you're going on a European trip, especially this time of year when it gets pretty cold in Europe, yeah, this would definitely come in handy. But uh, yeah, other than that, I mean, it's basically a one meter, it's not very long, but again, it's for European plugs only, not for American. And again, battery is not included. But you will, you know, if you get one of these, you will definitely need a CR2032 battery to operate the remote. So, uh, overall, though, this is pretty fancy. Of course, it's uh, uh, got all the different languages. It's got English and, uh, let's see, uh, Spanish, French, German, Italian, Portuguese, and... Um, now the last one might be German, Spain, France. No, I got to get up on my flags, but yeah, that might be. 
you know, might be Denmark or you know, Dan well, I don't know. It's pretty much the same as German, I believe. I'm us Americans, we're not too up on our, you know, English or language conversion, so to speak. But yeah, um, yeah, the degree range is 15 to 32 degrees Celsius. So that gets pretty hot. I mean, right now, 20 degrees, I think, is a perfect temperature, you know, 20 degrees Celsius. Um, it uses thermo ceramic technology and an adjustable thermostat so that you can set the temperature, you know, anywhere in that degree range. And again, this only uses 600 watts of power and it puts an output comparable to 1,000 watt heaters. And I'd probably have to agree with that because this is putting out some heat. You know, big time. This would be perfect for my front office or for my bathroom. So that's those are probably the main things I would use this for. And you definitely don't want to cover, you know, cover it up. Put anything that could be flammable very close to it. Uh, rule of thumb here in the United States is three feet. Don't put anything three feet, approximately three feet, in front of a heater. And I think that would have to go, you know, for this one as well. So you don't want to uh, inadvertently cause a a fire in your house or your space. So there you go. There's my quick review of an Insta heater or what is called a, uh, a wonder heater. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Yeah, based on the instruction manual, it is a wonder heater, miniature wall heater. And again, this would be perfect for this. Is definitely portable, you know, take with you. And if you don't have heat in your vehicle, which <laughs> I've actually had that. Um, in the past where, you, you know, heater core was leaking. You had to bypass the heater core so you had no heat in the vehicle just so you, you know, temporarily stop a water leak, you know, in your radiator in your vehicle. And something like this, if you had a DC to AC converter or inverter, which uh, they do sell, uh, something like this would be perfect for camping, uh, definitely. You know, run it off of your uh, cigarette lighter in your house. Yeah, it looks like the heat's actually cut off, so it must have reached its 20 degree temperature, and while I'm talking, the heater has actually kicked off, so it's just blowing uh, warm air right now. So, yeah, this is pretty impressive. Um, again, trying to think of uh, anything I might not have gone over. Uh, yeah, it's powerful, compact, and programmable. Um, Again, it's programmable up to 12 hours, two fan speeds for high and low. Um, and I'll let the Insta Heater remote it actually cut off just now. So that's good. And once it reaches its temperature that's programmed in, it just cuts off automatically. So it's not wasting uh, power. Um, but yeah, uh, perfect for an uh, office, you know, for like setting on your desk. Uh, if you're, if you got a cold, office to start off your day um, again for warming up a bathroom before taking a shower yeah this would definitely heat up a bathroom in a matter of minutes so uh, definitely recommend getting getting this kind of heater for sure you know it's uh, you know if you've got your own extension cord which I do have you know this is one that I've got that I just am using for demonstration purposes um, I like the bracket I'd like to see that included in the standard package you know if they can't offer an American style extension cord then perhaps offering the stand with the remote option would uh, would be a good you know good idea so there you go there's my take on a wonder heater miniature Insta heater, as it's called. So, hope you enjoy it, and I'll put a link in the description if you'd like to purchase one for yourself. So, until next time, adios.